As a kid, I'd pretend I was a pirate and unearth buried treasures. As a kid, I'd play spy games and discover classified information. As a kid, I made up a character I could talk to. As an adult, I buried my childhood. As an adult, I covered up my childhood. As an adult, the character I created took my place and never let me speak. My father succumbed to alcohol. My father got lost in obsession. My father lost sight of the world. My father became a stranger. My father was a reason my mother was unhappy. My mother couldn't put up with him anymore and searched. My mother's only way of coping was to search outside the home. My mother didn't deserve to be treated the way she was at home, so... My sister Jenny was a product of that search. My sister Jenny wasn't supposed to be born into my family. My sister Jenny was the only thing that... My father reacted in the worst possible way. My father caused an accident that killed. My father deliberately killed my mother and my... Alcohol led my father to cause an accident. Obsession caused my father to react. My mother and my sister died at the Brody Canyon. My mother and my sister were murdered at the Brody Canyon. My father wanted to liberate himself jumping off of that scene. My father didn't have the spine to own up to what he'd done and jumped off of that scene. Remorse same. led my father to jump off of that scene. As a kid, I'd pretend I was a pirate and unearth buried treasures. As an adult, I buried my childhood. My father got lost in obsession. My mother didn't deserve to be treated the way she was at home, so... My sister Jenny was a product of that search. My father caused an accident that killed. Remorse led my father to jump off of that scene. My Aunt Claire buried my childhood. I'd forgotten how I felt. For 27 years, I haven't known who I was. 27 years of writing to hide myself. Only to turn into somebody I'm not. Drowning in sarcasm and lies. It's over. A pleasure meeting you, Ed. I'm Dr. Lomas. Doctor in what exactly? Doctor? You got one hour. One. Pathetic.
Hmm. I'm not ready to ride a motorcycle yet. What did you say your name was? My name is Ed. Thanks, Ed. I'm Faye. If you could... bring me some ice. How did she do it? I was so thirsty, I drank a glass of water this big in one gulp, Mom. Mom, I'm sorry. I didn't make to. Uh... It's not your fault, sweetie. It's just that when Daddy's sad, he gets upset. You're never going to get sad or upset like that. Promise me. I promise.
Knight to b6, Sam, you're still screwed. think you're going? I ask you a question, Eddie. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> you think going out there and facing the world will make you someone? Hell, it will. <laughs> I know you, kid. You're... a piece of junk like me. You're useless. <laughs> I don't know how to love with 
without hurting. Like we did last time. The victory isn't ours. It's Dr. Lomas's. Eddie, honey, we've already talked about that. Maybe you should lie down for a little bit. I'm fine. I don't need to lie down. It's just I'd like to talk about... <sighs> did you have breakfast? Do you want a little juice and some toast? The doctor helped me remember everything that happened. What Dad did. Eddie, what have I always told you? Some things are better left unsaid. Or do you want some bacon and eggs instead? When Mom and Dad died and you took me with you to San Bernardino, I remember night after night of you telling me how much Mom and Dad loved each other. How both of them watched over me from the stars with Jenny, happy to see me happy. Because I had to be happy. I understand why you did it, but those buried memories slowly ate away at me from the inside. I'm tired. I'm going to lie down for a bit. All clear. There are eggs in the fridge and enough oranges. After the nap, I'll make some three bean chili. We ate some not too long ago, but it's your favorite, so... I guess. Off there. <laughs> you owe me an explanation. I don't know what happened to your dad. I don't, or why he changed like that. It happened so fast. Over the course of a few months. Two years before the end. No reason or explanation. Your mother and I, we tried everything. We talked to him. We asked him. We begged him. We supported him. We got him help. But in the end, we lost. All your mom had left was you. The possibility that you could still be happy in spite of it all. And when we lost her, I did my best. I'd better lie down for a little bit.
Yeah, I'd better not bother her for now. Night to be six, Sam. You're still screwed. <laughs> Boy, don't you remember anything I taught you when you were little, huh? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah, uh, why do I always forget about castling? You always defend by attacking, okay? The trick is, always have a safe place for your most valuable pieces. No fun if there's no risk involved. No game if there are no pieces. What's wrong? Aren't you gonna move? You're a wise old man, Samuel Franklin. Your chess and fishing advice is never really about chess and fishing, is it? I'm just an uneducated old farmer boy. Stop reading into everything. The one using all the pretty words here is you. Not true. We're more alike than you think. <laughs> you wish. By the way, I know it's not your birthday or anything, but... I saw this the other day in the window at the antique store on East Main. And I thought, well, Frankie Lane, chess, so, uh, I don't know. It's a valuable piece, so you know. Keep it in a safe place. You know what? In the early 80s, I was convinced that the Russians were going to fry us all with a nuclear bomb. So I built a bomb shelter under the ranch. I built it myself, with no help from anybody. Ah, I knew that already. What? How? Sorry, joking. Anyway, it can house uh, up to seven people has running water, its own energy supply. No one knows it exists. Not even my nephew Adam. Just Esther. And me. Why are you telling me about it? Look at us. Look at us what? Neither one of us has. Uh, I mean, we're both missing. We're family. I 
uh, about that. I... I met, uh, no. No what? Hmm. How long have you known? Since Esther saw you leaving the mall. She saw the diapers. In the trunk of your car, too. I've been holding her back a whole week. So she wouldn't come drill you with questions. Mm. Uh... Well... I met a girl a while ago and, uh... Uh, no. The baby is... Uh, I don't know where to start. Uh, no rush. Whenever you've got it figured out. As long as you know that... That if the Russians go crazy again, the girl, the baby, and you are all invited to live in the bunker. Anyway, boy, your turn. Are you gonna make a move or what?